Hi guys, Black is here. Messing with the 2001 Cadillac DeVille. Taking the engine out for the second time. This time to put oil control rings on all eight cylinders. Anywho, I stopped the video, well I stopped to make a video to tell you all about the three brackets and the shield. These three brackets, well actually, the two black, black brackets hold the motor to the transmission. That's just the heat shield for the speed sensor. This right here is the motor mount that goes right there. Hooks to the body in the front of the motor. All those bolts are used to hold this, these, these bars here stabilizer whatever like I said this is for the motor mount but that's the bracket and that's the bracket and that's the heat shield and there's a third bracket now all of this is on this side right between the motor and transmission right here but there's another bracket on the other side right there I've already taken I, I just took the bolts off of it if you take a big screwdriver, try not to break your, your temp sensor, you can push it over. I think there's one single bolt on the bottom of the trans, well, near the, near the back of the transmission that you might be able to loosen. I've never loosened it before. I just pushed the damn bracket over. And when I put it back on, I just pushed it back over and put the bolts on. Anywho, uh, what's stopping me from taking this mold out now? 18 millimeter bolt here, 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 and there's a 15 millimeter bolt down there. Why is 15? I don't know. The, the bolts on the bottom are off. I think everything is off. I think everything is off. I just need to jack it up, take this motor mount. It's got a bolt here, bolt here. It's got a bolt at the bottom. And it's two bolts that goes into the side of the motor. And I think this thing will come out. But I just had to make a video to show you about the brackets there. Now, what happens if you don't put the brackets on? I'm not going to try to find out. This thing got a lot of torque, so I'm not going to try to find out. They put them there for a reason. We get ready to bring this sucker out again. If you wonder where I'm hooking it up, got it hooked here and I got it hooked here that's where I had it last time and hopefully it'll come out I have the jack transmission up higher Oh, I know what it is. Damn starter. I gotta take the damn starter out. The starter is right down. This was keeping it. Damn, I gotta remove the starter. I'm gonna show you some bull stuff. How GM makes stuff unnecessarily difficult. Why in the hell would you put this crazy ass clip on here like this? Why can't you just make a regular clip, you know how a regular tip where you just push the button or just a regular lock like this where you lift up and unlock. They got to put this thing right here on here. On a damn knock sensor. Do you really have to make it that difficult? All right, I'm having a little problem getting this sucker out this time. Only because I'm trying to come out instead of going up. That's why when you don't want rubber to come off, 
should it come off when you want it to come off it won't come off all right i had to start the video i was having some problems problem was the motor has to come straight up if it don't come straight up it won't come out So I got to find me some kind of way, I don't know, um, I don't know, some kind of pulleys where I can tilt the motor like I want to. Cause when it, if I pick it straight up, it'll come straight out. But if I mess around and let it turn, tilt, it get caught. So it just need to come up. got to find some way to hold that transmission up because that freaking jack is, is stopping me from coming out you know what I think I do I'm gonna put a piece of wood next time right down on that pulley I mean on that axle and that way ain't gotta have that jack up on there. Now I think I think I do it now because I need to I need to come this way. And with that jack, I can't come this way. Alright, I put a piece of wood down up on that axle. So I should be able to lower that jack now. And get it out of the way. Slide off the damn edge of the road. Got the engine out again. That's the piece of wood I was talking about putting on top of that transmission. I may have to get another piece of wood, jack it up a little bit higher, and put that wood so the transmission will stay pretty straight. leaking you know something I didn't want to say anything at first because I didn't know no better 
Uber gear said that if you don't put lock, I mean not lock tight, but thread sealing on these bolts, oil runs through the crankshaft and it will leak out. It don't look like it's leaking to me. Uh, I might take the flywheel off, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna put it on the engine stand and take the damn heads off and um, I'll let y'all know. You know, I saw a wire hanging. I wonder what this is for. What is that for? You know something? There's raw oil coming straight out of both tailpipes. Did that come from the ring? What is that? Why is raw oil coming out of the um, exhaust pipe? All right, let me tell y'all where I'm at. Um, I'm at AutoZone, Flakes Mill, and uh, Fatchos Road or whatever. Okay, I was gonna go to AutoZone and get piston rings for my Cadillac DeVille. They want $105, and the son of bitches won't get here until next Tuesday. So, um, they look like the same rings that, what they call it, um, eBay sales, 50 some bucks. But before I spend a hundred dollars to get the exact same rings I got before, I'm just gonna order them on eBay again. And, um, someone told me I can cut the damn oil control ring and make them fit. So before I spend a hundred dollars, that's what I'm gonna do. So um, I'm gonna head home in order to some. Oh, I gotta get me a damn a funnel, transmission funnel. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna order them on eBay. I'm I just stopped and talked to a guy that had a 2004 Cadillac DeVille. He was right now. He's having some problems with the overheating. He thinks it's because air in the line. I tried to explain to him that the car bleeds itself. You don't have to bleed the line, but he he believes that you have to bleed the line. So he was, I, mean, I didn't argue with him. I, I listened to him. Cause you, know, you can't argue with somebody who believes they're 100% right. Cause I was at that point where I thought it was air in the line. I thought it was this, I thought it was that. He said he don't put a thermostat on it, say he put a water pump on it, and then someone told him it was just air in the lines. But I tried to tell him, he don't wanna listen to me, so I mean, I'm not gonna argue with the man, it's his car. If he believes that all he gotta do is every so often is take the little bleeder tube off and let the air out the line, that's on him. But he has a blown head gas. And he's probably has a script out boat he probably has a script out boat, but I told him to um, get him some block, asked him had he ever used block tester. He said he had never used it. And I told him, try one. They tried, I said, put the stuff in. If it turns green, I said, it's not gonna turn yellow because it's a real small leak. I said, but if it turns green, you have a blown head gasket. But he thinks that he just got iron in his line. But anyway, that's all I gotta say on the subject.